Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this globe blur effect and how to color grade and make it look cinematic. So first, go to the layers panel, make sure the background layer is activated and press Ctrl or Command J. So we already have a copy of our background and we have another way. Just drag and drop it to the plus icon right there and change its name to blur. Okay. Now right click and convert it to smart object. Now go to the filter, blur and choose motion blur. Set the angle to zero degrees and for the distance put it to 2000 pixels. And of course you can change these values anytime later because we already have the smart object. Press OK. Now go to the blur layer and make sure you active smart filter right there take gradient tool and make it like this and guys note that your gradients must be set to black to voice and to check that just make sure you have gradient tool selected and go to the option bar click on this bar and we already have gradient editor and from the basics make sure you choose the first one okay now we need to make five copies of our blur layer so go to the layers panel make sure the blur layer is selected and take five copies press ctrl or command j one two three four and five and we change its name to one two three four and five go to the first one and change its name to number one for the next number two three four and number five for the next step we need to change this layers blending mode we're gonna start from the number one make sure it's activated and change the blending mode from normal to luminosity for the number two make sure it's selected and change it to linear dodge go to the number three and change it from normal to soft light and for the number four and five change it from normal to linear dodge now let's make a group of our copied layers so go to the topmost layer hold shift and go to the first one and a simple left click and press ctrl or command g let's change its name to motion press enter now go back to background layer and we need to make a copy of this layer press ctrl or command j guys please pay attention to this part it's so important after you make a copy of your background layer move it to the topmost layer i'm gonna drag and drop it like this now make sure this topmost layer is activated press ctrl or command and go to your smart filter and just a simple click to make a selection like this now press ctrl or command shift and i to inverse this selection now make sure your background copy layer is activated and simply add a mask like this now let's merge all the layers into a new one in a safe way so press ctrl or command alt shift and e right click and convert it to smart object now go to the menu bar filter and filter gallery from the distort folder make sure to choose diffuse glow and set grayness to 6 glow amount to 10 and clear amount to 15 guys pay attention after you do this we need to make a new effect layer so go to the bottom and just click on this icon right there so we have another effect layer and for this one go to texture folder and choose grain and set intensity to 40 and contrast to 60 and make sure grain type is set to regular after you're done press ok now go to the filter and camera filter and from the preset icon i'm gonna choose 
user preset and I'm going to choose cinematic 01 which is my preset for this tutorial guys don't worry I'm going to show you all the steps just make sure to follow the steps to get this look like this Now after you're done press OK and for the last step go to the adjustment layer and choose color lookup and from properties choose crisp warm look and we need to decrease the opacity so go back to the layers panel and decrease the opacity to like 15 to 20 percent like this and there you go my friend that's it for this session and I'll see you in the next video.